The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Iowa, Simon Sinister. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. The connection this guy has with the fans is truly unbelievable. I trade that connection for a connection with the championship. And approaching the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. And here comes Triple H, a man who claims to make decisions based on what's best for business. Well, some of those decisions have certainly been questionable. I'll just leave it at that. A lot of whispers backstage about whether or not this guy has what it takes to get the job done here tonight. Let's just call it for what it is, an all-out brawl. This match is not an impressive display of holds. This is a war, a war where two men are going to attempt to tear each other limb from limb and pulverize one another beyond recognition. And King, we have a front row seat. It's gonna take a lot to change the tide of this one. So give us the breakdown here for Triple H. That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. This could be big. Not today, too fast. Here we go, back where it belongs, inside the ring. You can do a lot of damage outside, King, but as you know, you can only win in there. He whiffed that one. And into the cover. One, two. And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. Triple H has such a drive, such a relentless will to succeed. Once the bat goes, it's nearly impossible to stand, let alone deliver any offense. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. You know, people love talking about factions and stables and supergroups. Well, how about Dominant Tag Team? One of the scariest alliances that WWE has ever seen was when Triple H joined Stone Cold Steve Austin and formed the two-man power trip. They held all the gold in WWE at the same time. You talk about dominating. 
And Triple H with a reversal. And that's because the game has a gift for getting out of trouble, Cole. Well, there might be no getting up from that neck breaker. If we're going to talk about how powerful an alliance can be with Triple H, let's look at the flip side of that coin. Like in July of 2002, when in one of the most horrific nights in WWE history, he betrayed a returning Shawn Michaels and threw his head through a car window. Oh, man. Triple H makes the cover. And a kick out. Oh, uh, the kick out's all that's saving. This match goes on. He's making a statement here with this attack. This will be a physical battle. You're right about that, Cole. This is going to be a war. This could be so physical that it gets really ugly before it's over. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. He's not known as the cerebral assassin because it sounds good or looks cool in a t-shirt. When you step through the ropes against him, Triple H is looking to dissect you physically and psychologically. An opponent better be ready for war. Oh, Michael, rest assured that the war is going to be physical. It's going to be psychological, and it's going to be the fight of that man's life. And it can all... The shoulders are down! Two. Oh! These are great competitors. Great, tremendous gladiators here in... WWE. Some of the best superstars that WWE have to offer. Cole, you said it best earlier. Being the opponent of Triple H is like being in a war. I mean, it's important. There's the camel clutch, and somehow he's got to take the pressure off his neck. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one painful move to another. Oh, Triple H cannot be enjoying this. Is he still conscious? Man, that looked bad. Oh, going to the top. High risk. Oh, my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching SmackDown, the second longest running weekly episodic television program in history you know king we talked about it before all the elements that make up the game and how an opponent has to be physically and mentally prepared the match will be a war and for the game that war begins not when the bell rings but when he feels you become the opposition he's simply reminding him that he's here man that got him good he landed a perfectly placed strike that'll send a message to your adversary all right right and the message reads p-a-i-n That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. This is what makes him... What a move! What a smart move! The CEO of Triple H is a private man, though it's been known for... Well, more than some time for the benefit of our newer viewers at home, I'll inform them that for many years, he and his wife, Stephanie McMahon, have been widely recognized as one of the most powerful couples in the entire world. Absolutely. That pain could be dull, achy, sharp, or stabbing. This might be a case of all the above. I agree. Dull, achy, sharp, and stabbing. A brutal clothesline catches in the perfect spot. Ouch. Uh, oh, man. That'll leave your neck hurting for a while. 
Michael, you mentioned Triple H as a private man. There it is, the Alabama Slam. Oh, slam down hard. One, two, three. He did it. What a huge win. Here's your winner, Simon Sinister. Took on some damage there but was still able to pick up the win. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing.